I'd like to welcome you to the latest video from Techie Smarts. You can also check us out at techiesmarts.com or feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash techiesmarts. This video is going to be just a quick introduction on how to install the Cinnamon desktop using Ubuntu 12.10. I'm using a 64-bit version, uh, but the same process will be applied to the 32-bit version as well. Okay, first things first, we need to open up the terminal. So go ahead and click on the dash button and go to find your terminal. Or feel free to press the shortcut keys, Alt, Control, and T to open terminal. I'm going to go ahead and stretch out the terminal window here uh, so we can see the entire line of code that we're going to be entering. Uh, that way it make it a little easier to read. If you're not familiar with the Cinnamon desktop, Cinnamon is just basically another desktop environment like GNOME or KDE that you can run on your Linux distribution. Uh, it gives it a different look, a different appearance. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in with the command that we need to start the installation. Uh, so first off we need to type in sudo space add dash apt apt dash repository space ppa colon wendel dash I'm not sure how to say this word so I'll just spell it l-e-b-i-h-a-n dash dev forward slash cinnamon dash stable and hit the enter key. I apologize for the lag in the screen recording. I'm recording this natively from within Ubuntu. Still trying to find a decent recorder, so if anybody can recommend any good ones, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Right now I'm using Kazam, but I assume I'll be trying some others. Uh, once you hit the enter key, you'll be prompted for your password, so punch that in, hit enter again, and then the PPA has been added. The next line that we need to enter in as soon as you get your prompt back is going to be sudo space apt dash get space update once you type that in hit enter you're going to see it's going to update your package lists everything's going to update and as soon as it's done updating that we'll come back to another prompt this prompt will include the last command we need to enter and that will start the installation process for Cinnamon. And it's sudo space apt dash git space install space Cinnamon. Once you type that in, simply press the enter key and the installation process will begin. Okay, now just set back and hang tight until the installation is completed. Once it's finished, you will be prompted through the terminal. So just go ahead and type exit at the prompt once you get it back. And that'll close out terminal. Then go up to the up little gear in the upper right hand corner and select log out. That'll take you back to the Light DM screen. Uh, there in the little box where you would enter your username and password, there'll be a little button that'll appear. Simply check that button and you'll be able to select the Cinnamon desktop from there among Ubuntu and uh, I believe Ubuntu Classic also. Alright, and here we are in Cinnamon desktop. I apologize that I couldn't show the log off portion uh, due to my screen recorder. It wouldn't allow me to record that. But here we are in Cinnamon. You notice we have our basic system tray and status icons, notification icons and on the bottom right corner. Uh, there's speaker settings and Wi-Fi options. Um, you'll notice it's a very slick, very clean interface. Uh, it's nice. You can't tell from my screen recording because it's somewhat laggy. But uh, it is a very smooth, very slick desktop environment. Um, lightweight too, so you can check it out. There's kind of a start menu. We have some shortcuts, some show desktop button things of that nature. So I would highly recommend it if you're looking for an alternative to Unity. Uh, once again, as always, I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. And real quick, I wanted to make you aware of one of our other projects that's going on here with the Techie Smarts uh, channel and in our website. We're kind of branching off also and making some other videos. Uh, so feel free to check out Retro Game Curator here on YouTube. That's youtube.com forward slash Retro Game Curator. Uh, there we're going to discuss old school games, vintage games, old console games from way back in the day. So if that's your thing, uh, feel free to check us out there. You can also find us on uh, retrogamecurator.blogspot.com and uh, you can follow us as well on Twitter using our Techie Smarts handle, but we'll be using hashtag retrogamecurator as well. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them on the, uh, the video below or feel free to visit us over at our other channel and uh, leave some comments there. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.